Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I'd like to deliver a speech uh, written by some young people in uh, Cowan and um, as part of the Raise Our Voice program. And I want to deliver the first speech is by Leora Fletcher. And in response to the question, what should Australia's new parliament accomplish? I'm actually very honoured to be able to deliver this speech here in this place on behalf of Leora. And she says, as a 21-year-old woman, I'm grateful for this opportunity to speak about topics I believe are important. Having said this, I'm aware I am not the only one with visions of how I would like Australia's governing body to look like, and this is a very good thing. Without the diversity of voices, the new parliament cannot truly represent all Australians. For this reason, it is absolutely crucial that the new parliament enshrines the voices of First Nations peoples in the constitution to enable an empowered voice in the social, economic and spiritual matters which directly affect them. The Law Council of Australia describes this constitutionally enshrined voice as a manifestation of the right to self-determination, entitling people to have control of their, of their destiny and to be treated respectfully. This change would be a positive step towards reconciliation, allowing a First Nations body to advise federal parliament on matters that disproportionately affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, including native title, housing, heritage protection, employment and health. It makes sense for the people who have the best understanding of the challenges facing their families and communities to have a say in how best to address these. It is important to note that we are currently facing a climate crisis and, as recommended by the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, consulting with Indigenous peoples can give rise to invaluable natural resource management strategies to mitigate climate disasters. There is no better time for cultural collaboration than now. An excellent example of this is Indigenous, indigenous knowledge of cultural burn-offs to prevent cat catastrophic sorry, to prevent catastrophe during bushfire season. We have seen the consequences of not implementing these burn-offs and knowledge and knowledges too many times. This parliament should take action and pass legislation to hold a referendum and change the constitution and ensure an enshrined First Nations voice, which cannot be undone. Well, thank you, Leora. I am proud to be able to read your words in parliament and to assure you that this government takes your voice seriously and takes the measures that you've suggested seriously. And we will be taking this to a referendum. And Leora, I look forward to meeting you and discussing these issues further.